How many times do I need to hit you? Die already. How the heck did you get in here? No turning back now. It's do or die, and we are probably going to die. Hello and welcome back to Ravenhurst, where we left off last time. Surrounded by zombies, so... We need to kill these first and foremost. So that we can get back to our home. There we go. Now, I did notice as well that I think we are base. The reason we're taking so much damage is because our equipment is damaged. So I feel like we need to see if we have any to replace what we already. what we need to replace, basically. So we're going to spend this morning clear, clearing things out. But today is a horde day, I believe. And as such, we are going to need to um, prepare somewhere. And just because I don't want you attacking my little shelter, I'm going to make sure you die. Reasonably fast. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, blimey. No way did that one die that easily. Oh no, there's a wandering horde that way. We need to get away from it. I don't have to fight all them as well. So we'll let them pass. Oh great, fog. We're gonna kill this one. That one. I hate those ones. How many times do I need to hit you? Die already. You I've stabbed too many times for you to still be alive. I mean, even that thing died quicker than you did. Finally it died. All right, the red day 14 has appeared. These guys are all going to get on my nerves. So I'm just going to deal with them. Let's see if we can grab some food. Oh yes, that's good actually. It's quite good that we found that. And you know what, I'm just going to use this yucca juice because I don't want to risk the dysentery. Not today. So, the plan today. Just find shelter for the Horde Knight, basically. Which may mean clearing stuff out. Oh, and I need to see about my armour. See if I can replace it with any, th any other bits. Doesn't look like we picked any up. Which is going to have to be okay. So we take a quick peek at the traders, see if there's any armor in there that we can buy. I very much doubt we will be able to. You're looking kind of rough. You didn't get bit, did you? How the heck did you get in here? Oh, okay. That's a problem. No, no armor. Oh, ah, oh, nowhere near enough money to buy. Would have been quite nice though. We're gonna have to fix that at some point. So let's go and have a look. These doors are pointless. Let's go and have a look at where we can set up. And I've just, I've remembered that I can actually take down some of these counters to get nails, potentially. 
maybe not this type then. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that that type is not the type. We haven't actually been in the back yet, have we? So we should do that. If we're going to be spending the night here. Okay, let's loot this place. Ah, a pistol schematic. That would be useful. Bits and pieces. I just realized I have no emergency bandages on my hotbar. Oh, and another pistol. Not a very good one, but it's better than nothing. Let's go and make sure upstairs is actually clear and that whatever's hitting the back here dies. Right. Let's make sure the vulture isn't up here. Well, the vulture is definitely not up here, so I am going to definitely use this as my primary horde base tonight. I am going to prepare that one as a backup if I can. To run to, should this first one fail. Quite a few of them. That will take me too long. So instead, let's head home and prepare some equipment. Right, let's make a quick shovel. Hooray! About time we made a shovel. Can we make any chest armor? Maybe. Very possibly, actually. Ooh, we actually might be able to make this. And I think scrap chest armor is going to help us a bit more than padded at the moment. So let's see if we've got the iron to do it, or if I've, if I've thrown away too much iron. Ooh, I do have enough. Let's do it. We need some form of armor. Honestly, didn't think I'd have enough to be able to do that. May not be the strongest, but it's better than nothing. So, food and drink. Oh, we can sell this radioactive stuff, which I may as well. I know it wasn't worth much, but it was, it was, I might as well have sold it. Now I'm going to quickly see if I can patch up the trader a little bit. Even if it's just to stop the crawly ones getting in quite so readily. Just to deter them from wandering. And the last two we'll go and place. Ta-da! <clears throat> We're so close. Right, medical stuff we're going to need for the Horde Knight. Uh, basically anything that gives us health. But we'll make the first aid bandages we can. Because they are very definitely going to come in handy. Right, let's go and see if we can prepare a second location for emergency use for tonight if we need to use it. Which basically means I want that place. Seems the Horde has moved on. Hmm. Seems like whatever was in here has prepared. Oh no, I was in here, wasn't I? Okay, I'm going to go finish preparing the stairs. I need to make a new axe. Oh, I haven't even searched this place. I've done at least some searching. Okay, we've leveled up. 
Oh, that f failed to jump. Pretty certain I've cleared the zombies from down here. Yes, I just haven't searched this place. So I'm going to do a quick search because this might actually give me a couple more blocks. This working stiff tools box. Huh. Nice. No, no nails. I am encumbered. So, going to go home, drop this stuff off and be ready. I'm not going to leave anything too late this time. Ooh. Right, and if we're going to want to wait the night out, definitely going to need to take, make sure I've got plenty of food, plenty to drink in my, well, plenty of stuff already consumed before we start the night and just to be ready, basically. Okay. Here goes nothing. Time to get to the house. I've just realised I've done this wrong again. I don't have nearly enough arrows for this. I only have just shy of 150, I think, with the stone and iron combined. Either way, hopefully this metal basis will help us. No turning back now. It's do or die, and we are probably going to die. And I should have just brought the materials with me to make a bow. Oh, what is wrong with me? If I keep moving, they will change what they're hitting and spend time not hitting stuff. There they go. Oh, I thought I'd just walked off the edge then. Oh, no, they all just got stuck in the bathroom. If I can wait it out, this will be amazing. I think they are just running around beneath me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Potential mistake made. If I, I'm just going to keep moving. Maybe I'll stop and kill one or two in here. Although, if I don't stop... Only these ones will appear, in theory, won't they? Sorry, if I don't kill any of them, only these ones will appear, and none of these are fiery ones. Which is good. I think part of the problem we had last time was that the random AI, uh, Corporal Pyle, I think it was, um, I think they killed enough that fire ones started to spawn. So if I can avoid doing that, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm just going to keep moving to try and spread the destruction at least a little bit. They're definitely destroying some things. <laughs> I actually feel really good about this particular horde base. Just don't kill anything and you're golden. And then eventually it'll all just come crashing down with me on top. What the hell is that noise? Flippin' heck, was that? God, that set, sent the shivers right up me. Oh, I think that was just one of the random night noises. But by God, did that scare me in this situation. <laughs> yeah, that freaked me out a little bit. Oh, we do have a skill point we can spend. And I am going to get the sexual Tyrannosaurus to reduce the stamina usage. Because that is really going to help us. Especially considering how many power attacks we do with our knife. Oh, we've already broken through one block in the divider wall. That's fine, there's only three hours to go. I'm just going to keep moving in a circle. I'm going to 
destroying something. You know what, this is actually quite peaceful considering. Considering that it's a horde night. And now that I've said that, I've jinxed it, obviously. Ah, they've made a full hole through that wall. I get the feeling this base may actually be able to survive multiple Horde Knights and is actually probably probably quite a good one to use. So I think I will try and utilize this base. Oh, and to boot my skill in athletics has increased without me doing anything except walking. And here I was... Oh, looks like they've made another hole somewhere. But yeah, here I was being concerned about the Horde Knight. Turns out the Horde Knight is basically like any other knight, but just keep moving. And is a bit less stressful somehow because I know that they're there, I know that they know I'm here, but I know that they can't get to me. So weirdly, I feel more confident about a Horde Knight than I have done on the normal knights. I mean, I could have even... I still could, actually set up a base up here. The only downside to setting up base up here would be that if I ever got a job that reset this area and didn't realize, I'd be resetting all of my items, which would really ruin things. Genuinely, I could use this area as a bit of a temporary base, which would allow me to craft in the night. Because then I could prepare arrows and bullets and any other tools and stuff for the day following so I wouldn't have to waste the next day doing it. It'd give me more time in the day to actually do what I need to do. Also I believe there's only one hour left of this horde night. I have not fired a single arrow. They really are starting to create a dent in there. But morning is about to break. Da da da. Let's go down and clear them out. Oh, hi. Jeez. Hopefully they're not particularly fast. No, it looks like they've become normal speed. Right, we're going to clear the clear these guys out. And then we are going to call it there. I just want to get rid of these. Actually, we might as well take a look at the building since we're here. <laughs> I missed the front one, hit the back one. Oh, you're kidding me. So, let's go and take a quick peek inside, shall we? See how much damage they actually did. Okay. I was ex actually expecting much worse. Yeah, there's a tunnel through. Yeah, we can definitely use this for... Oh. A future Horde Knight. So. May as well grab these chairs. Since we're here... Head back to base and call it a day there. And I wonder if this will get us enough. So, Horde Knights, successful. So, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon or night, no matter what time of day it is. I hope you all have a wonderful one of it. And as always, we'll be back next week for more of Seven Days to Die. Goodbye. <laughs>